Welcome, in this video I'm going to go over the procedure for setting up Twister OS to boot from a USB drive using a micro USB bootloader. So as far as I know you can't just have it boot from a USB drive as of yet. You still have to have a micro SD card to get the ball rolling and then it will run off the USB drive. So the USB drive I'm using is a Samsung Bar 128 gigabyte flash drive. You could also use a USB SSD. That would probably give you slightly better performance. But the Samsung Bar is pretty decent on its own. And if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link below to the hardware I'm using. And if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I set up Twister OS in a previous video and I'll put a link in the description to my Raspberry Pi playlist if you want to check that out. So I've inserted the Samsung Bar USB drive into the Raspberry Pi and since I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 I made sure to plug it into one of the USB 3 USB ports. So I'll click down here on the menu and depending on the theme you're using this might look slightly different. I'll go to accessories and I'll scroll down to SD card copier. Copy from device, I want to use dev MMC BLK0, and that's the micro SD card. For the copy to device, I want to use the Samsung flash drive. I want to check this new partition UUIDs. That will tell the system that each of these drives is unique. I'll hit start, and we have a message here. I think the theme's messing this up, but I'm going to hit yes. I think it's asking if I really want to do this. So this is going to copy the contents from the micro SD card to the USB drive. And the USB drive would in theory be bootable if the Twister OS was allowing it to be bootable. But we'll have to make a couple modifications after this step. Okay, that's finished. I'll hit OK. I'll close this. Next, I'll open up a terminal. I'll zoom in a little bit here. I want to type in sudo space blk id. I'll hit enter and this will show us our partitions. There we go. Next I'll type sudo space mousepad space forward slash boot forward slash cmd line dot txt. I'll hit enter. This will open up a text editor. I don't seem to be able to enlarge mousepad here so I'll talk through it. Hopefully you'll be able to figure this out. You want to look for this part that says root equals part UUID equals, and then on mine it says EA7D04D6-02. So if I look up at my partitions, you'll see this part UUID equals, and then we have that same string after it, and that's on the micro SD card. We want to take the equivalent from the flash drive. So you see we have the MMC BLK0 is the micro SD card, and SDA is the USB flash drive. So the label on this is root FS, or root file system. We want to go down to the flash drive and find that same line, which is right here. We want to take the part UUID of that. I'll select it. I'll right click on it, say copy. I'll go down into my text editor and find the part UUID down there and I'll select that. I'll hit delete. I'll right click and paste it in there. So we're telling the boot partition on the micro SD card that it should boot from the USB drive. So now I'll go file to save, and I'll close out of this. And I do want to preface that there's certainly a possibility you'll do this wrong and screw something up. So make sure you have everything backed up before you try this. So now I'll reboot the system. I'll just type in sudo space reboot. I'll hit enter. So now the system started up, it read the micro SD card, and then it booted from the USB drive. We have one more change to make. I'll go into my terminal again. I'll type sudo space blk id, I'll hit enter. Here we have our partitions again. And we're doing something similar to what we did before. We want to type in sudo space mousepad space forward slash etc forward slash fs tab. I'll hit enter. And this is where you could screw things up, so be careful. In this file we have this boot id here. So there's two lines for the two partitions here. We have boot and then the root, which is just the slash here. And this boot part UUID is on the USB drive. And we actually want to change this to be the micro SD card. That way, if we ever update the system and if it needs to write anything to the boot partition, it will know where that is. So we'll go up here to the MMC BLK zero and we'll take the part UUID here. I'll right click on it and copy it. I'll go down here to the FS tab. I'll select that boot drive, I'll delete it, and I'll paste this in. I'll go to File and save this out, and then I'll close it, and now I can reboot. And if I did it right, it will reboot. If I did it wrong, it won't reboot. OK, 
Okay, and there we go. So now the system is booted from the USB drive. You do still need to leave that micro SD card in there because the boot partition is on it. I'm guessing someday they will update this so it will boot just solely from the USB drive and then the micro SD card slot will be open. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.